go bell. Big go bell. Um, let's go. To Nigeria, Nigeria, Nigeria. All right, we're here. You ready? All right, Nigeria Chamber is here at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Yeah. With my guy Brian Bloom. Brian, how you doing today? I'm all right. How are you? Good, good. It's good to be around the people, isn't it? Hey, it feels good yes. to be back. In the world. Listen, I think at some point we're going to have to start talking about your name in terms of some of the best voice actors out there. Your resume is ridiculous. Your work with Captain America, is, that's just another whole conversation. But we're going to talk about your work here in the new Green Lantern film. I appreciate those kind words. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I would love to know, what, how did you kind of approach this project? differently with having such a prominent voice with prominent characters in the past. Mm -hmm. Well, what's interesting about this is we haven't seen a lot of Adam Strange, so there wasn't a lot to have to overcome in terms of being influenced by prior performances. Yeah. Um, and the authors of this story were doing something very interesting, very grounded. There's a lot of humanity in this guy. He loves his family. He is separated from the things that he loves, and he has to uh, overcome uh, some serious enemies and adversity and also band together with a group of people who yeah. are on opposite sides of a conflict yeah. uh, in order to sort of achieve victory for the greater good. Yeah. I thought that was pretty cool. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, and in terms of this, as you, as you said, we haven't seen a lot of Adam Strange on the screen. So how did you truly make this character yours and what sort of your print that you want to leave on this character going forward? You know, I think I said the words already, but it was, it's his humanity. Um, his magnetic north is his family, and his magnetic north is science and truth, and bringing those things together in order to resolve conflict where he's not able to, this particular version isn't using what we would call super powers typically. Mm. He's using something from here mm. and something from here. Okay, okay. Um, and that makes him special and I really like that. I hope they continue to work with that. Awesome, awesome. You know, whenever you get attached to a character, you end up being around for a long time, so we're going to see what happens. Are you excited for fans to check out the world premiere tonight? I really am. It's going to be awesome. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing it myself. I just saw it for the first time yesterday, but I had to watch it on a much smaller screen. <laughs> well, tonight's the real deal, and yeah. folks, you can check it here at San Diego Comic Con 2022. Brian, it's been a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, my brother. Nice to meet you. All right. Fix that right up. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? What's, which, which way is the best to not ruin everybody's everything oh. with this? Okay. All right. It's a focal point. <laughs> we got four minutes with Brian, and then we got to get out. Oh, we perfect. Thank you. Tell us about your approach, your version, how you, what was your take on the character? Sure. Well, this is a very interesting version of Adam Strange because you might associate him, um, like many of these characters, with a certain set of uh, superhero-like traits. And I think in this story, what's kind of special is his superpower is in here and in here. And he brings both of those things to bear uh, for the greater good to resolve conflict in this story. Uh, where some of the other... Uh, characters have maybe something that's a little less quote-unquote God-given. Um, uh, they have powers that exceed most uh, uh, what human is available uh, to those of us at this table unless some of you've got a secret. <laughs> and, um, and I think what Adam Strange has in this story is something that we would all be capable of uh, to some degree and I thought that was pretty cool and that makes this version sort of special. Yeah, you know, without getting too spoilery, I think what's really interesting to answer that question is that they both, relationship or not, are both looking for a new life and a second chance and they're both traumatized. They've both been through something and they've lost a little bit of their magnetic north and um, and they're looking for redemption in different ways and it's interesting they kind of share that DNA and that that piece of characterization and they both have completely 
different lives, John, with his PTS, but um, and and his trauma from war, and maybe Adam more from the trauma of what he's been through with his family and being estranged from them. But um, uh, they both are uh, have to overcome those things in order to resolve this conflict, and I think that's that's pretty cool. The idea that they're looking for a second chance. I like that a lot. I would, a spoiler? I would say it's a it's a spoiler, but again, um, it's part of the character. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you this. This is a very different version of of the character, and and you're meeting him at a very different stage uh, in terms of uh, where he's at and what he needs and what he has available to him. I'll say that. What do you hope uh, people get out of seeing this film? You know, the themes of this story, um, I hope people recognize the themes to this story. I hope they recognize that he's a guy who um, is willing to make a choice and we can all make this choice every single day. Uh, we can do, we can choose peace or war. And you can take that first step uh, in making things better for other people by making a sacrifice in yourself. And I hope people recognize that uh, Adam Strange is an agent of that and an example of that, and we can all be starting right now. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you, ladies. We'll see you guys uh, yeah. real soon. Got the blue. Thank, Thank you, Gary. Thank you so much, Gary. Oh, baby. I got those